Hey guys, it's Melanie and today we're going to learn how to make one of these. It's a cross stitch or you can embroider also a silicone iPhone case. Okay guys, this is what you need to get started. Buy a case, a blank one. I got mine on eBay for $7.50. Amazon sells them too and they usually come with a needle and some embroidery floss already. But I went out and bought some other floss. Looks like this. Oops. 35 to 55 cents at the craft store. Then, once you get all that in order, go to my blog and download one of these. It's a blank template, and then you can draw your designs right on here. And this is the exact amount of dots that are going to be on your case. So you can do all of your design work ahead of time, and then the actual stitching will be really easy. Here's a couple of ideas of other templates. Very simple one. You can do hearts and other graphic images. And this one. This is the one that I used when doing my case. I did modify it a little bit as I was going. Once you have your case, your floss, your design all done and ready to go, you're ready to get started. And I'll show you how right now. Okay guys, these are the colors that I'm gonna use. This is DMC Floss. Here's the logo. This is number 3705. Here's 3187 and 453. This is kind of like a silvery gray, this like minty green, and the coral. So, what you're going to do is on one end make a knot. Just plain old knot. I'm using all six strands of this floss. Okay, I'm not dividing it at all. Make a little knot there at the end. Okay, there we go. We threaded it. So I counted on my design exactly where I want to start and I'm going to start 15 holes down. So this one that's right above my thumbnail here. Now you're going to come up from behind Okay, so let's see. Okay, and you're gonna pull it through and just tug on the end. And then you're gonna go down in the next hole that you need to go down in. Refer to your design. That's gonna be your best friend in this. If you do all that design work ahead of time, this part will be easy. It'll just be like filling in the dots. And if any of the floss bunches up, just kind of like pull on it from the back. Okay, now I'm going to have a solid line. I want to have a solid line. I'm not going to do a cross stitch X. I'm going to do that to fill in. But first, I'm just going to get my basic shape. So you're going to do back stitch. So basically, you're going to come up in the next hole. Okay. Pull it up and through. Okay, and then you're going to put it back down in this one. This is called a back stitch in embroidery. Okay. So then we're going to do the next line. Okay, so here's the line that I created, and I will show you the back and how to tie it off. Okay, so here's the back. So you see how there's like the loop at the beginning of a knot right there? And then you take your needle, and you kind of like push it down, and then tighten it, and it'll kind of put that knot there right at the end. And then you're going to trim the excess. So on the design, the one that I'm doing is this line first. So I'm going to go ahead and cut another piece of floss and do the next line. Okay guys, so here's how it looks with the two lines. Now because I just did this one here, that's how I want it to look. 
And next I'm gonna do one of the thicker lines so that I can show you how to fill it in. Okay, so what I've done now is I did my lower line and then I began to cross stitch in between. Now, if you don't want to cross stitch, you don't have to. You could just continue with this back stitch all the way through and fill it in with the same color that way. Or you could do the cross stitch. I kind of wanted to try it. I've not really done cross stitch before. So I'll show you how I've figured out how to do it. I'm not an expert cross stitcher, so if you are and I'm doing it wrong, I apologize. <laughs> um, but this looks right and it seems to be working fine. So what you need to do is separate out the floss. There's only three strands here, rather than the six that are used for the outline. It's just too much floss to try to get through these little holes. Being careful to always go down when I'm down here on the line, because if you come up on this outline, then you end up splitting the threads and it just doesn't look quite as nice. Okay, so here it is. We're gonna make an X in here, here, and here. So we're gonna go down here Pull that through, and then we're going to come up this hole, and then we're going to go down right here in that outline. See, and then that made a little X. So then I've just been going, you know, up and down. Um, sometimes it's kind of hard to find the holes, you just sort of have to keep working at it. So I came up, okay, and then I'm going to go diagonal down into this one, and then we're going to find this guy. So what I'm going to do is, um, since nap time is almost over and I'm starting to lose a little light, tonight I'm going to work on this and I'm going to cross stitch in between all of the bigger sections of my design. So six strands of floss in this outline and then cross stitch in between with three strands. Okay, so ready for the grand reveal. Ta-da! Doesn't that look fun? Okay, I'll try to hold it still. <laughs> um, but as you can see, this right here is the back stitch that we did in the coral color. Six strands of floss and you can see up here the blue and the gray um, that there's an outline in six strands in the back stitch and then it's all cross stitched in between here and then you can even see down here I did some of you know, I alternated the cross stitch look and the back stitched look just to give it a little bit of variety And then here's the back of my work. You can see all my little kind of like ends. Okay, did you guys have fun designing your case and stitching your case? I know it takes a little bit of time. It took me a little bit longer than I anticipated, but it was so fun and it's so great to be able to have your very own personalized creation on your phone. Um, a couple of tricks and tips. I would say to be careful not to tug too tight on your embroidery floss because it can warp a little bit. Mine's even like slightly warped. I don't know if you can see that, but just be conscious of that. And most of all, have fun. Let your creativity flow. There's no wrong way to do it. Whatever you feel looks right, looks the best, looks great. I'm sure it does. I hope you guys had fun making your case and let me know below if you have any questions. Send me pictures if you actually complete one using this tutorial. And that's it. Hope you guys have a great time stitching and I'll talk to you later. Subscribe, bye.